So the question is, how do you know when to change your company brand, right? Um, and hopefully this isn't something that you do all the time, right? My, my immediate answer is you never change your brand, right? I mean, if you're in business, right? Because you work so hard to kind of, um, you know, to, to brand yourself, right? And so um, I guess the only way they could answer this is based on my personal experience. Um, so A, I really put a lot of stock in building my personal brand. You know, how do I do that? Um, you know, I, I speak uh, at conferences. Um, I've written a couple books. Um, you know, I create these videos that kind of go out, right? These are all doing things to kind of help my personal brand. Um, but it also is helping to kind of boost my company brand. And, and I've got multiple companies, you know, the one that I'm most known for is my agency, right? So Hennessy Digital, but we have a studio in Hollywood called Hennessy Studios. We've got software that we're building, um, uh, called Powa. I'm an investor in a couple businesses and also sit on the board of a couple nonprofits, right? But, um, but most importantly, um, you know, it, it's super important to kind of stay loyal to your brand, right? If you think of like a company like Starbucks, right? If every five years the CEO says, you know what, I don't really like this name anymore. Like what is Starbucks, right? You know, they wouldn't have the momentum that they have now, right? It's just because they've built the brand over the years. And most companies, you know, like from Kellogg's to, you know, Lucky Charms to, you know, basically a lot of things that we recognize, it's all because they've been branding it to us for so many years, right? So I would say, A, if you don't have to change your brand, kind of just stay with it, you know, sure you can do logo changes here and there, you know, the Walmart logo had, there's been so many iterations of that logo over the years, right? But they still are Walmart, right? Um, so, I would say, you know, try not to continuously try to change your brand, you know, just invest in it. Um, but there are situations where, you know, if you have a partner and, you know, both names are on the door and you have to do that, that's okay. That's probably the only time that I would say you probably really want to kind of create a, a, a new brand is, um, is in, in random circumstances like that.